So Tyler found a water boatman and a back swimmer over here. I'm gonna grab the back swimmer. The difference between the water boatman and the back swimmer is whether they swim on their back with their big eyes pointing up or whether they swim on their bellies. And now I flip the back swimmer over, but you can see he's got a very um, uh, kind of shiny pearly bit to himself. He's got two huge eyes here. When I put him into the water, he's immediately gonna flip over. That pearly look is actually an air bubble that he's bringing around with him so that when he's underwater, he can still breathe the oxygen from the air. That's because in water, not too much oxygen is actually dissolved. So a lot of animals in water have to worry about being oxygen stressed, especially if they're really fast swimming predators like the back swimmers are or the water beetles are. So if they bring their an air bubble down underwater with them, they can get that much higher proportion of oxygen that's in air than in water. If they're very slow movers like the snails, they may not need to worry about that so much. Or this is a clam right here. That's a that's a water boatman. That's, oh, and here we have another water boatman that Tyler yeah, found boat, right here. Again, just like with the diving beetles, you can see that they have legs that are very fringed and they can use those then as paddles kicking along, swimming pretty gosh darn quickly. So we have a t lot of predators actually in this tub, but a few that aren't predators such as the isopods. So we've got an isopod right here, flattened top bottom, lots and lots of jointed legs. These guys are gonna be detritivores, which means they feed on detritus, which is dead material, like leaves. And as they're in here,